Hello everyone and welcome back to another LEGO Beyblade review. I know it's been a while, well that's just because I've been busy with like school, the main channel, and other garbage, but I'm finally back, get that out of here. I'm finally back and better than ever. And to start off this new year, to start off this new wave, we have the brand new Steam XO4 Hyper. It's a right spin attack type and the evolution of cyber exo of course so without further ado let's check out this base combo so first off we of course have the chip which is exo or exo2 now what makes this exo2 is if you look right there instead of having another one of these one by one plates it instead has a blue stud hopefully this will give the Beyblade an unbalanced nature or it might do nothing at all but hey you never know so yeah, I think it looks very interesting. It's very different from the original Exo chip, but very cool indeed. Uh, next up, we have the layer base, which is Steam. And this guy actually has a very interesting history. Steam was based off of the prototype Cyber Exo designs. And I think it looks really sick. Definitely a huge upgrade to Cyber. As you can see, it actually keeps the contact points from Cyber, but it kind of takes them and puts them on top of each other. So it's pretty crazy how we can cram the entirety of Cyber into this thing. And of course we have these new wings, which are very spiky and provide a lot of attack power. Overall, it is really good. It's much thicker than other layer bases. And it is just, it's just so cool. Evolution to X, so that's just amazing. For the disc, I chose four because i think it looks a lot like the layer i don't know why i just thought it would work really well and we have the driver which is hyper it's very similar to zephyr come on focus okay there it's very similar to zephyr because it's a whole flat except the only difference is that it's round instead of like a plate around it i don't know i, I think it looks really cool either way so that is the combo um, Steam, XO. I already said the combo, let's get into the test battles. But before we get to the test battles, I just want to give a couple of updates to two different Beyblades that I made. Those, of course, are Siege Barbarian and Hell Reaper. Now, these bays, um, I decided to give them a couple changes. Let's take a look at Barbarian first. As you can see, nothing physically changed except for the driver, it's free spin. I completely forgot that bearing was free spin. I don't know why I'm stupid, but I also decided to give it a name change. Now for a little bit of context, this is the uh, prototype, uh, I guess, name for Barbarian. It was called Mush Boom, like, cause it looks like a mushroom and I added boom, which I thought sounded pretty darn cool. And you might be thinking, why am I changing the name? Well, for two reasons, one, because Mushroom is a lot shorter than Barbarian. And two, well, Diamond Diego said that that sounded cool. So I, I, want, I wanted to rename it that. And um, yeah, really nothing else has changed except for the driver being free spin and the name. All right, now for Hell Reaper. I just gave the layer some uh, quality of life improvements. For example, it's much more sturdier, which will definitely help it from not turning into Variant Lucifer and having a barrier gimmick, because that was really stupid. And also I added these teeth right here. Very minor changes, but I'd say that they're enough to give the Beyblade the new name, Scythe Reaper, which is funny because the prototype name for this guy was actually called Scyther. How original. Now enough about these bays. Let's get into the test battles with EXO. Yeah! All right, so before we get to the tests launch and test battles, look at this beautiful EXO themed launcher. It just looks so nice. Uh, anyways, let's get to the uh, test launch. Okay, so... I'd say it moves around a lot like um, Reaper, so you know, let's get into the test battles now. Alright, so I think this is a sign that this Beyblade is horrible. Let's try again. Oh! Oh, that thing is crazy. Okay, maybe this Beyblade isn't that bad after all. when they get stuck on the launcher. Ah, man. I guess this guy isn't as bad as I thought it was. Knock him out. That's a pretty big hit. Oh, man. Oh, come on. It was so close, but it died before uh, Hydra bursted. That was a 
big hit. It just flipped over. What in the world? Come on. I believe. I have player spirit. I have player spirit. Yeah, the player spirit always wins. Come on, hit the thing. It was kind of a weak launch. Ooh, I, did Exo win? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll call it a tie. The chip came out. Oops. Oh, that was a huge hit. Ooh, it bursted. First burst in quite a while. Let's get through the time. Alright, that's the end of Cthulhu time. We are always gonna make fun of all the new releases. Who did survive that? Oh, that makes more sense. What? What the hell was that? What? There we go. That's how you launch. Oh no, it's scraping. Scrape Nation. Yo, Edge is so bad. Yo. What? It is time for the rematch. Because, you know, last time Cyber X lost with this new upgrade, it was a tie. Alright, that's better. One more round. Ooh. And that's how those protag versus antag rounds are supposed to go. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Which version's better? Now, I think that um, Steam has more attack power than Cyber. Yep. <laughs> I feel like Steam has more attack power than Cyber, because Cyber's just way too round, but I feel like um, Cyber is also heavier than Steam, so. Alright. Another one. Go! Oh! That was a massive hit. Surprised none of them are dead yet. Okay then, I guess one of them's dead. Ah, scraped. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit into the pocket. Alright, I guess we know which XO Evo is better. Alright, so that was the review on Steam XO. Overall, it's a really solid attack type, finally. A right spin attack type on my channel that's actually like an attack type and not a balance type because Cyber XO is too round. <gasps> Take a breather. All right, so if you liked that, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.